motions that are taking place. You're going to get over the spinous process. I'm going to start at C2 and my thumbs are over the C2 spinous process and I'm literally doing a posterior anterior displacement that's going to come up out at me. I get up over the top, my thumbs are on the C2 spinous process, I take up the slack and I do very gentle oscillations at the C2 level. I'm doing a central PA. Go to the next level, C3, central PA. Go to the next level, all the way down the line. I'm going to show you a unilateral PA. be a unilateral PA. The unilateral PA, what I do is I find my spinous process, usually about a thumb's width away from that spinous process is going to be on that articular pillar, right where I want to be. This is called a posterior anterior unilateral vertebral pressure. And I stay with both of my thumbs over that area. Also, with pivots, you can have a, in this case, it's going to be a unilateral left. Find the spinous process of C2, and where I'm working is off of C2, C3. I'm going, to, I'm going to find the C2 spinous process, put my thumb next to that. Just lateral to that should be the articular pillar that I want to be on. From that position, my thumbs are taking up the slack, and I'm pushing into posterior anterior direction go down to the next level. Now I'm on C3, C4 in a unilateral position. Okay? ...side of the spinous process and do a, a transverse mode individually from C3, C4, C5 all the way down. We're going to show and demonstrate this is usually done to do a transverse. I come off, find that spinous process, come into a transverse direction, get my body over here, and once again I'm moving the transverse process of C2. Work myself down. Okay?